it's time for another Geek Alert. I always love these. Today's video, we are gonna talk about some of the greatest and coolest technology items that have changed the way we RV, but I'm not gonna be in this video. We're gonna leave the master to this one. So some of these items are common to RVers, some are not, but these are things, like MJ said, that we use pretty much every trip, and some of them we use in a long time, some are pretty recent. Before we move into these tech items, guys, we wanna thank the sponsor of this video, RV Snap Pads. RV Snap Pad makes a permanent jack pad as well as some other products that we're gonna talk about. Snap Pads are wonderful. We have actually had ours since we got our motor home over five years six ago. Years six plus. years plus. Yeah, They've six years. They've been around years, for a long right? time. So, and we have the same set. They're amazing. It gives you permanent jack pads. They're installed at all times. You don't have to be taking on and removing things. It's going to give you increased stability for each of your landing feet. So that's really great. It's going to give you added protection for your jack feet from bending or damage. If you like to camp on soft surfaces, if you go to Harvest Host or NASCAR or things like that, it's going to help you avoid slipping and sinking on those surfaces. And it will also help protect you from indirect lightning strikes. And some higher end resorts will require something under your jack feet. If you have a snap pad, you don't have to pull out those ugly wooden blocks out there. These are pretty shoes. They're pretty on. shoes. They are made in USA and they're made of 100% recycled material. They also have a new product that I want to show you, which are their stack pads. And what these are, they go under your snap pad. So if you're at a place where it's really unlevel, these will help you out. They're two inches thickness and they're kind of interchangeable. So you can do things however you want. If you want more information about RV Snap Pad, we'll put the link down below. And of course you can use the discount code. Endless 10. Get 10% off always. They also give discounts to first responders and military. There's a lot of people that have Snap Pads. Like they've been a very successful company. If you want more information about Snap Pads or to find the one that fits your RV, we'll put their link down below. Since I deal with a lot of the technology on the RV, I will be taking this video from here. But a quick reminder, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bells on. Even if you have been subscribed, take a second, go back and check. A lot of our subscribers have been unknowingly unsubscribed and you don't wanna miss videos like this. So the first one, we're, this is a recent, because I said some of them are recent, some of them will be using for a long time. Let's move to the back of the motorhome. We are now in Spout Springs, Virginia. Spout Spring. Sorry, Spout Spring. Singular. Somebody's in, <laughs> it's in Virginia. And if you notice, actually my neighbor who's not here, he left this morning, another New Jersey person, asked me, what is that up there? What is that up there, hon? It's the Starlink. Right. That is a Starlink standard dish. Now we just added that. It's been about a month and three days since we added our Starlink. One of the big reasons was the price came down. I believe it was up to October 5th. Uh, we got it for $2.99 versus the normal 599 and they have the standard dish they have the more high performance dish which i believe is 2500 and then they have the little mobile one which is new which doesn't perform as well as that one but it's 599 but they have all different types of options what is starlink you may be asking yourself starlink is spacex low orbit satellite high speed internet service it's $150 a month currently, as of when I'm doing this video. It'll be going up to $165 a month. Some of the advantages of Starlink is that if you're in a place with no cellular signal and open sky, like you see here, open sky, you will get high-speed internet. It is unlimited for nomads if you're on the unlimited roam plan. And we've been pretty happy with it so far. What, what would be your review of it, hon? I think it's been great. It's yeah. nice to have two options too. So we, we talked about this on other videos. If internet is important to you, and it's very important to us as content creators, you need to have redundancy. So we have our Chester Cheetah inside, which we use a lot. We use it going down the road. We use it if we have good cellular. Which we will get to shortly. If you're in a place where the cellular is not good or there's no cellular, then you need Starlink if it's important to you. Now, if you're in a place where it's covered with trees and there is cellular, that is just a paperweight. It's already happened to us, it doesn't work. We almost always get at least above 100 down and usually over 10 up, but this is what we've been getting here, give or take a few, 414 down, 136 up, pretty good. Upload speed is not as good at home. At home we have five or 300 down, 300 up, but this is more than enough for us to get to download our videos, upload our videos, as well as stream TV. 
Our next piece of technology, again, has to do with internet. You can see how important internet is to us. It's right over my left shoulder in the cabinet. That is our custom router, our custom Chester Cheetah router from Chester Repair up in Chester, New York. Hundreds of our subscribers have purchased from them to great satisfaction. Why is this good is because we have unlimited internet on here using AT&T FirstNet. Now you can use other providers, but ours is unlimited. And depending on the area we're at, we get really good speed. So we are currently, again, in Spout Springs, Spring, Spring, Virginia. <laughs> we have one bar, so it's really not too good as far as the signal. We're getting 17 down, 5.21 up. Is that suffice to stream and upload? Yes. Is it going to take longer than the Starlink? Yes. So what is important to you guys? That's why we do these type of videos. You have different options out there. Now, if we were somewhere with five bars, that would be well over 200 down and probably about 30 up. We've been many places where that has been the case, but just know what to expect, the pros and cons of each piece of technology. Two more pieces of technology we're gonna talk about. We've had these now for several years. The first one is right over here to my left. This is our liquid spring suspension. If you don't know what that is, it is a probably one of the best suspension systems out of any RV out there, both gas, diesel, it is amazing. When we were coming down here from PA, MJ had pulled the, the motorhome out and she shut the liquid spring off and we're going down the road. And I'm like, what is going, like, why is this so rough right now? And I look down, liquid spring is off. I turn it on, everything smoothed out. So what liquid spring does, it replaces the stock suspension with their own five link suspension. And it is a smart suspension system. So it reacts multiple times per second to road conditions. So what that does, it improves your ride smoothness, especially the ride handling in crosswinds. I mean, hon, what kind of game changer has it been? Well, yeah, as a passenger or a driver, I mean, you, you just don't, I'm not gonna say you don't feel anything, but you could drive with one hand and, and have is, tractor trailers passing you. You don't even feel the sway or anything. It is a game changer. And we've had many, many of our subscribers that have upgraded their suspension to liquid spring and that is the best money they ever spent, according to them. We did many videos about Liquid Spring. We'll link our latest one up above. The next thing over here, let me just move this seat back a little bit, is right here. This is our Level Mate Pro. This is a simple DIY project. One of the most important things when you're on your RV is when you park, you want to level out. Why do you want to level out? Helps protect your appliances. Structurally, your RVs are made to be level, and that can be the biggest pain. I know you're gonna say, well, don't you have an auto leveling system? We do. It doesn't work that good. It does too much work, and what we found is, is that it actually raises the coach more than we need to do. So what we do when we get into a spot is I turn this Level Mate Pro on, you go to an app, which is Level Mate Pro, and then it will tell you exactly, okay, you're two inches right to left, front to back, whatever. And then I could adjust manually with my levelers and we can level very when, quickly. When we got here, I did the leveling here. It was extremely, e it's so easy to use. I think easier than auto leveling. And auto -leveling it just, it gets, gets it right. you in that sweet spot. Yeah, no, it's great. So I feel something like this should be standard on motorhomes. Every motor home should have a level made pro even if they have the auto leveling, because again, our experience with the auto leveling has not been good. The next piece of technology is pretty awesome and a big piece of mind and safety is going to be what you don't see inside of these tires on, connected to these wheels is going to be our retro band. Actually, the sticker says peace of mind protection and that's exactly what it is. So what retro band is, it is a run flat system that is installed in our motorhome. But why it's better than some of the other competition out there is that Retroband actually attaches to the rim extremely easy. I think it's two, two 10 millimeter bolts and it raises up about four inches above the rim. So what happens if you have a tire blowout, you will actually ride on the Retroband. So it does two things. It keeps the tire on the wheel to prevent damage to the motorhome and you also ride on that retro band, which is rated, I believe, up to 30,000 pounds. What that does for you, why that's important for you, is that one of the biggest problems when you have a blowout in a motorhome, especially on your steer tires, is that you lose control. And many of you have seen the videos out there. We'll put some on B-roll. With the retro band, it keeps you in control, which is extremely important. So 
the safety of you, the safety of other motorists, and reducing the chance of damage to your motorhome. Now we did a whole video on that installation. Retroband is exclusive to national indoor RV centers. If you want more information about Retroband, we'll put the link down below. We'll also link the video up above. The next piece of technology we have this at home, and we've had it on our motorhome for a long time, is this little piece right here. And this actually may be an old version. This is a Fire Stick, your Amazon Fire Stick. It comes with its remote. These are extremely cheap, under 50 bucks. What this does, it allows you to stream television. So if you don't have a smart TV, and a lot of our TVs are smart now, you get something like this, guys, you can stream everything. So Sling, YouTube TV, if you're into IPTV stuff, you can do that. I know we have had a lot of success with streaming TV and we absolutely love it. I just want to hop in and say one thing too. Hop. You could, you could, uh, you could hop it's, in. It's firing yeah. up in the it's back. Hot. So a lot of people will say, well, camping's not about watching TV. You got to remember guys, remember, we always try to think outside, mm -hmm. like people do things for different reasons. So for example, if it's, if we're hanging out outside and we want to watch a game on the TV, or like if sometimes both of us will do exercise routines out here, we need to get YouTube on the TV. So there's so many different reasons that people would use TV if so we're camping, but we also use it quite a bit. Like if we're watching our All own videos or, or anything like that, it comes in handy. For those of you that have never heard it, this is kind of the interface and then you download whatever apps you want. So you know, there's all types of things on here. You have Sling TV, YouTube, Peacock, all different types of things. So we'll just quickly go on like so the Office. So those of you that know us, yeah, we, know, we love The Office, we love The Sopranos. So. Right, so we'll just open it up with the Peacock app and then it'll just open up. A couple more pieces of technology. Again, game changers. We had these for a couple years. Our first one is going to be our lithium battery setup. We chose to use Battleborn. We have 600 amp hours of lithium. I told MJ, whatever RV we get in the future has to have lithium. Hopefully we have a bigger bank, but 600 has been great. We recently just fi finished up the Hershey show. We were boondocking for four days. This is the routine we had. At night, we would turn the generator on for about three hours, charge up our batteries, and we don't have solar. And then during the day, we would leave and we'd get back, we're at like 80 something percent. Run whatever we had to run, sleep overnight. We'd come back, it'd be 60 some percent. Again, run the generator for a couple of, and just do it over and over. It's a real game changer. Why we like these guys is that we're able to run all our appliances, so our air conditioners, uh, microwave, things we just couldn't run before if we, unless we had the generator on or in shore power we can do because we also upgraded our inverter to a Victron Multi Plus 2 3000 watt inverter. Another piece of this power puzzle is going to be our Micro Air Easy Starts. Micro Air Easy Starts are installed in each air conditioner. What that does is that it reduces that initial load of when the ACs kick on, and it allows a couple things. Number one, we can run two ACs off of this battery bank and inverter. We can also run on 30 amps, both AC units. That's a big deal because we've been to several campgrounds that are super popular. You can't get into 50 amp, no problem. We get into the 30 amp and we can run pretty much everything on board on 30 amps. That is a very easy installation and their support is really great. MJ actually did the installation on both those units. If you want to see that video in full, We'll link it up above. We'll also put the link down to the Microwear Easy Starts if you're interested in purchasing one. So which ones of these, if any, do you have? Do you like all of the ones that you have? And what technology items that were not in here do you use? I can't imagine that you would be missing out on any tech items. Some, it depends. If we're going to put it to use, we'll get it. Some of them we just don't. <laughs> if you like videos like this, guys, to the left of us, we'll put our RV Newbies playlist. We'll put our RV tours playlist and for myself and MJ it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.